We're washing water buffaloes. Let's go. <laughs> Tarzan in the house. His name is the real Tarzan. My man, the real Tarzan, came down. 24 year old Michael Holston out on the water at night. With its scenes of charging rhinos, and savage pygmies, and the great hunter. Tarzan. Welcome back to the YouTube channel of the Real Tarzan here at the Wild Jungle. Behind me, we have our special guest, my water buffalo, my Asian water buffalo, Miss Lulu. Let me make it clear, she doesn't need a bath. Water buffaloes love the mud. They love to be in the water, getting all dirty. Here at the Wild Jungle, it's like a place of peace for me. It's like a place of therapy. So I want to wash her off so I can cuddle with her, actually. Simple rinsing. And she loves the water. As long as it's not sprayed directly in her eye, she doesn't mind. So sit here and let me wash her like a car wash. I'll be bringing you guys into a little sneak peek, a little small window of how me and Lulu hang out. Enjoy. And that is how you wash a water buffalo. I want you guys to understand that I used no treats. There's no tricks. There's no uh, restraints. There's no halters. There's no chaining them to the fence. It's just straight, pure, a good time. She's been so sweet. Look at her, look at my leg. And uh, I don't know, man, I feel really comfortable and at ease when I'm around her. There's something about this animal that just gives me a, a really great sense of peace, you know? And um, that's one of the things that I've always been chasing with animals. I get it in dogs and cats a lot, but um, I've had it with monkeys and birds, you know, some lizards. But I think this is the first like bovine I've had a relationship with, you know? And um, I tell you, it's special, man. It really is. Again, it makes me feel so peaceful. And there's something about this animal that I love, man. I just can't pinpoint it. I don't know if it's her innocence or it's her, her affection, you know, but she's so soft and gentle with me, you know, and uh, she came from a great place, you know, she wasn't mistreated or anything before, so you can't even necessarily call her a rescue, you know, it's more so like she rescued us in a sense. The pasture's clean. We got Buffalo Bill coming up. Hi, Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill and Lulu. Oh, he's walking by. I'm just gonna spray him with this stuff. He doesn't like it, but keeps those flies off of him. So now I'll spray her, and hopefully Buffalo Bill takes a little nap over there and lays down, and usually me and Lulu will join him. And that's where we bond at. Now Buffalo Bill, a ramen bull, he's really soft as well, but he's a, he's a male, he's a boy, so he has his days where he wants to kind of rough house, where Lulu, she's like more so really, really gentle and soft. So 
not saying he doesn't have a soft side, he does, but she's much more of a, of a gentle girl. He's much more of a gentle giant. <laughs> Are we gonna cuddle or what? Buffalo Bill. It's been getting mauled by these flies, but he also hates being sprayed. So I'm gonna start putting some of this stuff on my hands and uh, just rubbing them down, honestly. I'm trying to help Buffalo. Buffalo Bill, he's got a little fly problem over here, man. And you know he's stubborn, he don't like the freaking fly spray. So I gotta rub him down. I got some of it on him. I got a lot of it on him. They're kinda already like off him a little bit. I might not get my cuddle session, but I got those flies, so. Let's talk about a bond with animals. Not every single animal I have or I work with will I have a bond with. Some are special. Some are real distant. Some take so long to capture that one special moment, you know? Uh, but the bond helps you with the animal, especially in captivity, to help it, to feed it. If something happens or it's had a bad past or something happens in the future, it gets caught on a fence or it breaks a hoof or it's got a skin tear from something, you never know. If you have that bond, you can treat it easier. It can, it can be less traumatic. And both of you, both the, the human and the animal has that, that connection in captivity. Yeah. Buffalo poop <laughs> with my bare feet. So not often do I clean my feet right after working, but you don't want poop caked in between your toes. It's probably get nasty and infected. I love you guys. Today was a great video. Um, we'll do Buffalo update again, because soon we're gonna grab these guys up, put them in a trailer and drive them all the way to the front to their new house. But they got a big old pond to go swimming in. But until then, I love you guys. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.